Welcome to the Words to Empower television broadcast featuring Frank and Jackie Stewart, pastor and first lady of the Acts Ministries. And now, Frank and Jackie Stewart. Welcome back to the Words to Empower broadcast with Pastor Frank and Lady Jacqueline. We're so glad that you're joining us on today. We're excited about the lesson on today and what yes. God wants to say to us. We're so grateful for this time that God has allowed us to come together. Um, you're tuning in. Tell somebody, text somebody, let them know that we are now on VTN and we're live and in living color. We love to <laughs> um, go through the Word of God. Pastor, today we're going to be talking about why does the truth make so many people, especially religious people, so angry? Yes, we're going to talk about that because we're going to extend this. We're going to go the rest of this month talking about truth. But during the time we're living in now, Mm -hmm. uh, the truth is so important, yes. so yes, very it is. important. Yes, and it is. I can never remember a time where truth has come under attack the way it has come under attack. So I believe that this series is going to help people to open their eyes to see. I mean the truth. You know, I mean, there are people questioning the law of gravity that it doesn't exist. There are people saying the earth is flat again. There are so many things. People don't believe there are satellites in the sky. I mean, it's and so many man things. Man never went to the moon. Man never went to the moon. But mm -hmm. you know what is so hurtful and so painful? We just looked at a couple of examples with this COVID-19. One young man uh, went to the, what they call those COVID-19 mm -hmm. parties mm -hmm. and still would get infected first. He got infected, and on his deathbed, he, he said, I, I believe I made a mistake. He thought it was a hoax. How, how can over 130,000 people die? And we're watching people die all around us. We're watching, our, we're watching people in our families and relatives and all around us. Mm -hmm. And to believe that still is a hoax, you know, yeah. and, and, and to, to do that. And there was even a pastor that left one city, one state, went to another state. He put, he put some things out there on uh, social uh, Facebook, media. social mm -hmm. media, and didn't believe in it, believed it was just blown up. And he ended up dying from COVID-19 before he get back home. I, I, brothers and sisters, the truth is under attack. Yeah. The truth is under attack. Mm -hmm. You know, common sense, we walk by faith, but if you can see it, you don't need faith. Right. Right. If I can see it, I don't need faith. But we, we're in a very dangerous time. And the Lord told, told us this time will come. We're in the last days, my brothers and sisters. Yes. Make no mistake yes. about that. Yes. We are in the last days. We're just acting as though it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about this because uh, why, why, why the truth make people so angry? Uh, we want to get and dive into that, First Lady. We want to see what is it that make folks so angry about the truth. And we want to just use this series to, to extend this through the month of July. You, you, you know, we know that uh, July is the month where we said, you know, uh, freedom, 4th of July, 1776. Mm -hmm. And that, that truth, even with that, Mm -hmm. when, you, when you say all men are created equal wow. and that they're endowed by their creator with certain inalienable moral rights mm -hmm. uh, among those life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness yeah. and then enslave people. The truth has always been under attack, but we've never seen it like this. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to, you know, and you probably can relate to this, why people get angry with the truth. You know, and we, we, we're getting ready to get into the word, but it's just, I, I'm so... I, I, I'm just so, I guess, overwhelmed with just people not knowing truth and calling what they see a lie. Mm -hmm. You know, that ain't got nothing to do with faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, if I see if I see water and I say there's no water, that, that has nothing to do with faith. I don't need that. I, that's common sense. But have you ever wondered why people who owe you money and promise to pay you? didn't get angry with you. Mm -mm. Now, I'm trying, see, mm -hmm. this is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. You're going to see all these examples in the Bible mm -hmm. that we're going to do during this series. You wrong, but you're angry. Right. And we're going right. to see that in Genesis right. with Cain mm -hmm. as we yes. walk through this. Yes. And I think that the nature of, of the sinful man, it, it, it's not going to side with the truth. 
Right. It's not, it's not going to seek out truth on its own. When Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. No man coming to the Father except by me. Yes. That made people angry. Very angry. When, 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 truth, <laughs> when truth is dispensed and it's not something that you are accustomed to, something that you were um, exposed to, something that you're familiar with, that truth is questioned. Yes. And so when we, like in our lesson today and as we study through, through the scriptures, we'll see how when people are confronted with truth, you have the, you have the opportunity to accept truth or to yes. reject truth. Yes, yes. And we want to be found on the side of accepting truth yes. and not rejecting it. Absolutely. Because when you accept truth, it makes you free. When yes. you accept truth, it makes you it, free. It, You're it, right. It takes you to another place. Yes. And um, what, what we're going to see, you know, today, we're going to see how even religious people, people who claim to know God, right. people who claim to have relationship with God they can still reject truth. So yes. don't, don't ever count yourself out because you say, I'm a Christian, that you reject truth. Because if you don't receive God's word, God's word is truth. Thy yes. word is truth. If you reject the word, you have just rejected truth. Yes. And his truth is forever ever settled in heaven. And when we understand the power of truth, 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 Truth has a power with it. It has right. a, it has the ability to set you free. It has the yes, not just um, truth by itself, but knowing that truth. Yes, that walking in that truth. Yes, and obeying it. that truth. Yes, but yes. if it's truth presented to you and you don't receive it, it, it it's no power to you. And you know, even and and, and even if you're not ready to do truth. If you're not ready to just do truth, don't deny it. Mm -hmm. Don't lie on the truth. Mm -hmm. Just say, you know what you just said is true, but I'm not ready to live that kind of life. I'm not ready to do that, but don't act like the truth is a lie because then we'll slip into a place where we can't tell truth from a lie. And we'll move into a place where Paul even mentioned about becoming reprobates. You know, not knowing truth from a lie. You know, you can lie so long mm -hmm. that that yes. it becomes your yeah, norm. your norm, mm -hmm. and to you it's truth. Mm -hmm. You know, if you ever studied Adolf Hitler and, and looked at him and his demeanor, you can tell that he had began or oh, he believed the lie. He believed there was a superior race, there was a supreme race, and that that race was the. You know, he took he took one lie from Darwin. You know, the survival of the fittest. So lies connected. And we see all those millions of people killed because of a lie. And I can see him watching Jesse Owens yes. running in the Olympics. This black man putting and leaving everyone in the dust. And when you believe that it's the survival of the fittest and you see someone right. who, had, who is excelling and superseding by such a great margin. Right. Then you have to try to come up with another lie to to cover up the first lie that that you right. that you spoke. So yeah. so what lies do is one lie told introduces another lie. Yes. To yes. say to produce another lie to cover up that lie. Yes. Absolutely. And another lie to cover up the one you just told. Right. So you one lie is not going is going to be the end of it. Yes. Once you once you begin lying, it's a it's, house. Yes, it's house a house of, of cards. cards. Yes. So once you begin to start um, dispensing things that are not true, then you will not stop at that one specific lie. Yes. It's it's like sin. Once you begin sinning, the devil is not going to be, you know, satisfied with you just oh they just told a little white lie. Yes. He's going to have you start telling more lies and start. Um, adding on to that sin, that sin will produce stealing. That sin will produce killing. That sin Murder. will produce, you know, all kind of things. That so lie. that one little lie that you thought was just insignificant and, oh, it won't hurt anybody, that one little lie will produce a snowball effect where it, it ga gains momentum, it yes. gains size, it, it, yes. it 
begins to expand, it begins to grow larger, it, it begins to become something that's really detrimental and it changes the character of who you are. Yes, and, and you know, when you look in judgment, look in the book of Revelation, when it, you know, the Lord said, you know, those that are evil, fornicators, liars, and he names all these people that are going to uh, be cast into hell and hell are cast into the lake of fire. But then when it comes to liars, Mm -hmm. he, he, he says, all liars. Yes, you know, have their part in the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. He says, all, he makes an emphasis to say all, because we know that, that he says the devil was a liar from the beginning. And when he tells a lie, he, he tells it on his own. Himself. It wasn't It wasn't that God like inspired that he, yes. he told out his own. That was what he did. He's the father of lie. And you know what, what a father does? In producing a child, the sperm that produces a child. And you know what? If you got any DNA of the devil in you, and last part of the DNA, mm -hmm. and when God looked at mm -hmm. Satan, he said he was a murderer. Mm -hmm. Because when you lie, he, he, he looks at that lie like murder. Lie. He says he's a murderer from the beginning. And you wonder, who did he murder in the beginning? He didn't murder no angels in heaven. But he's saying just way a lie is told. So it's, it's so important we dive into this first lady. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm excited because I believe we're going to set some people free. I, I hope, I hope we don't make folks so mad that they turn away from it. But we're going to look at all these scriptures mm -hmm. dealing with Jesus, mm -hmm. you know, and we're going to see the truth personified. Mm -hmm. And when he came and told truth, they wanted to kill him. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to study this. Uh, you know, we started uh, talking about uh, St. John chapter 8 and those two key verses, really one key verse. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free in St. John 8.32. And then, of course, in 8.36, it says, If the Son therefore make you free, mm -hmm. then you shall be free Indeed. Indeed. Yes. And we and we looked at that. We looked at that and we kind of kind of went over it a little bit. But when you look at this, especially here, it, it, it says it says verse 59. And we can whichever way you want to look at this. It, he says, then took they up stones to cast at Jesus. But he hid himself went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. They wanted to kill him because mm -hmm. he told the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to think about that truth. Truth, it pulls the covers off of us. Right. Especially if we're in the wrong. Truth pulls the covers. It, it exposes us. Yeah. And so yes. Jesus had exposed them in, right. in St. John chapter 8, dealing with the woman who had been caught in adultery. They brought her to Jesus, wanting Jesus to say stone her. Right. So that the people would be angry at Jesus because they didn't want the following him. They didn't, right. they didn't want his, you know, his, his flock to be larger than theirs. The, you know, so right. they, to trap they tried to trap Jesus by right. bringing the woman who had been caught in adultery. And so Jesus just stooped down. He's at the temple. He spent the night at the Mount of Olives. But he comes back into the city. He comes back to the temple where he's speaking and he's preaching, he's teaching. And he stoops down in the dirt and he just begins to write in the dirt. When they say, Master, you know, this the law of Moses says she should be stoned. What sayest thou? You know, yeah, they trying, didn't to, believe he was master. trying to trap him. Yes. And so Jesus exposes them by saying, okay, after he writes in the dust for a while, he says, he that is without sin, let him cast the first stone. And he leaves it up to them to, right. to look into their hearts to say, okay, she's caught in adultery, but have I done anything? Right. Have I kept the letter of the law to the fullest right. where I can say I have no sin? Because yes. he says if we, if we say we have no sin, then we lie. Then, then we lie, and the <laughs> truth is not in us. We lie. So he, the, the truth exposed them. Yes. Where every last one of them, beginning at the eldest going down to the youngest. They have to all walk out saying, you know, we got to lay our stones down. Yes. We cannot stone her because we know what we have done. We know right. truth exposes us. And the thing about, thing about that, it's kind of like Adam, when truth came, first thing he did was start blaming. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You know, first thing he said, to, he, he blamed God and the woman. Mm -hmm. He just didn't blame Eve. He said, he said to God, it was the woman that you gave me. Mm -hmm. Adam was doing like this. He was pouring at Eve and he was pouring at God. Mm -hmm. You know, I was good in this garden until you did that. So, so it's when it's exposed, instead of us realizing that we're naked, mm -hmm. we seek to cover ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, if, you, if, if we cover sin, we shall not prosper. You got to understand, if we cover prosper. sin, that's why repentance is so important mm -hmm. to be part of our everyday prayer life. Yes. Repentance, yes. asking God yes. for forgiveness. You know, the Bible tells us before we pray, Mm -hmm. You know, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people that are called by my name, His mm -hmm. people, yes. He doesn't say pray. He say if the ones called by my name would humble themselves. Yes. First thing yes. He says to us, yes. we need to come in in the spirit of repentance. We need to come in humility before we ask for anything, because then we can get our minds right. Mm -hmm. Then we can get right. Then we can proceed further. But uh, uh, First Lady Jackie, we 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 are we are at a time now that. It's, it's alarming, mm -hmm. but it's perilous times. Yes. It's yes. perilous times yes. that we would rather believe a lie mm -hmm. than the truth. We're, we're at that place yes. now. So, so now in our text today, they actually question who Jesus is. When Jesus tells them, you know, um, before Abraham was. Yeah, you know, yes. He says, I am. You know, verily, 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 in verse 51, I say unto you, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never die. He shall never see death. And then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast the devil. Abraham is dead. And the prophets, and thou sayest, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, and which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Art thou greater than them, they asked? And so, Whom who makest thou, makest thou thyself? They asked Jesus, you know, um, who, who do you think you are? Who, who, who are you proposing to be? Right, right, and so absolutely. Jesus answered, he said, if I honor myself, then my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom ye say he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar. He like says, you. like you are. Yeah, nah, straight says, up truth. But I know him and keep his sayings. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day and saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, thou art not even 50 years of age. And has you, have you seen Abraham? Right. And so Jesus said unto them, verily, verily, I said unto you, before Abraham was, I am. I I am. I am. He says, I am. That's when they took up the stones to stone him because they realized that he's saying that I am the I am. When Moses said to the Lord in, at the burning bush on Mount right. Sinai, right. who shall I say have sent thee? He says, tell them that I am. Yes. Have sent thee. Yes. And yes. he's saying that I am. Yes. I am the that. I am. Can you handle the truth? The truth. Can you handle the truth? I want you to stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Watch these messages and we will be right back. Don't tune us off. Come on back. Don't be mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in just a moment. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. I'm the pastor of Acts Ministries in Conway and also in North Little Rock. We also have an outreach on John Barrow where we partnership with the city and other ministries there. I want to invite you to partner with us in this ministry. I want to invite you to share with us in propagating the gospel of Jesus Christ. There are many things that we're doing and we're going to continue to do. We have a vision in mind on how to be a blessing to the community, communities that we're in. So we're asking you to be a partner with us. I believe that God will reward you and he will multiply you. So join us in the Acts Ministry in sponsoring not only this broadcast, but what we're doing in the great city of Little Rock, North Little Rock, and also Conway. God bless you. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. My name is Frank Stewart. And I'm Jacqueline Stewart. We want to invite you to our program. I am the pastor of Axe Ministries, located in Conway, Arkansas, and also in North Little Rock, Arkansas. 
So join us every Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on VTN for our Words to Empower television broadcast. Of the it's truth. Good. You truth. shall know the truth, mm -hmm. and the truth shall make you free. Yes. And we all struggle with that. We mm -hmm. all struggle with that. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We must have God's Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus said to, to the religious people, he said, if I'd have came in my own name, you would have believed me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't come in my name. Mm -hmm. I came in my Father's name. Mm -hmm. But if I'd have said I came, if I'd have came in my own name, if I'd have lied to you, you would have believed that. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. So as we, as we look at uh, this scripture here, in St. John chapter 8, mm -hmm. and I'm picking up stones to kill him Yes. over the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, I, I want us to talk about what is it that make people so angry about the truth? The truth, like I say, you know, people, people the analogy we gave people uh, have lied on you, people that have did you wrong, people that, that owe you and they're angry with you mm -hmm. over something they did. You know, we're going to study that in a minute. We'll get to uh, mm -hmm. as we move forward. So what, what is it that, that about the truth mm -hmm. that makes us so heated, that makes us so angry? So we see in Scripture the religious leaders are angry because the truth that Jesus is dispensing is not truth that they are used to. It's not truth that they have been exposed to. It's not true. Truth doesn't come from man. Facts come from man. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm it. When you, when you understand truth is a person. Yes, yes. Truth is not an object, abstract object, something, you know, in the wind. Right. Truth, it comes through Jesus Christ. And when you understand that he is truth, his word is truth. He is the word made manifest. The word of God is truth. And we must stand on the word of God. And when we deviate, when we remove ourselves from the word of God, when we leave the word of God, then we err. So when we are far from the truth and truth is presented to us, we don't like truth because, like I said earlier, it exposes, it exposes us. Yes. And yes. along with exposing us, yes. it makes us uncomfortable. Right. There it you brings go. us out of our comfort zone. And when truth is, is presented, that pride within us, yes. that we felt like we were one way, right. when all along we were another, a lot of people really don't feel like they're racist. A lot of people don't think that they're prejudiced. Right. A lot of people think that they don't show bias. Right. But when you lay it out for them in, in black and white and you put it and you and you put it on video and you put it on recordings and you and you lay it out with the facts and you show people the truth of, of how they really are, then it helps people to see, okay, maybe I am like that. Right. Maybe, maybe, you know, is it possible? Yes, yes. Is it, is it possible yes, that I, what I once thought, thought is not true? Amen. Is it possible that the way I perceived, interacted, even treated people is different than the way I perceived myself? Yes. And how I looked at myself? Yes. And what I thought about myself? So Jesus, he, he pulls the covers off of us. He, he helps us to, to see how we really are. Yes. And we need that. Mm -hmm. We need that. We need, we need for him to expose us. He, he is light. And when mm -hmm. light comes in, it shows up. And, and mm -hmm. he is this incredible light. Every yes. corner, every yes. crevice, yes. everything yes. lights up when you come to the truth. And, you know, when I think about Isaiah, as great a prophet as mm -hmm. he was, mm -hmm. as an awesome man of God as he was, when he got in the presence of God, mm -hmm. his words was, woe. Woe is me. Woe is me. He said, I'm undone. I'm a man of unclean lips. So, so, now, so now what he said about himself, mm -hmm. and, and he says it, and, and, and almost like being shocked. He, he, he says it in a way like, you know what? It's I'm messed up. It's revelation I'm to messed him. up. Now, you can do one of two things. Mm -hmm. He could have said, I'm, I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Or he said, I'm not so bad, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. And, and that's what people or that... he could have accepted the truth. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what he did. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing about that is, 
only through that, through repentance, will we be able to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. Because all have sinned mm -hmm. and yes. come short of yes. the glory of God. Yes, definitely. When you say you have never had need to repent, mm -hmm. you you have no you have never needed a time to repent. Mm -hmm. My God, that's everything that Christianity is based on. We it's were, based on that we needed a savior to yes, come and help yes. us, to die for us. Yes. But but when we resist the truth, mm -hmm. and these religious people during Jesus' day, we they be, hated the truth. We become like the Pharisee who's standing in yes. the marketplace praying. Exactly. He looks at one man and he says, I'm not like him. Right, right, right. He points the finger at someone else and says, I thank God I'm not like him. Wow. I pay tithes, I pray. Uh, you know, I'm this, I'm that, and I'm the other, but I'm not like him. Yes. The Bible says that that sinner that, that said, Lord, have mercy upon me, you know, bit upon his chest and said, you know, I'm a sinner. I'm undone. He recognized his state. He recognized his condition, and he asked God for mercy. But he says that man went to right. his house justified More rather, justified, than, though, rather than the Pharisee who right. has on his long apparel and his priestly garments and, and he's, Pray with he's himself. praying with himself and, and wanting people <laughs> to hear and, and see all that he's done. Wow. And so when you're honest with yourself, when you see yeah. yourself, when you, when you see that the truth has been brought to you and you can see the light shined on you, it's up to us to walk in the light as the light shines upon us, as revelation Amen. comes, as understanding comes, as God's word comes. It's up to us to walk in it. And our time is up, but wow. we're not through. We're going to mm -hmm. flow right on through with this because mm -hmm. we want to show you scripture after scripture. But mm -hmm. you know what? Let's pray. Let's, let's pray that God would help us yes. to receive the truth yes. of his word. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you now, and we pray that you would give us all a heart of forgiveness like you, a heart of repentance, Lord, a heart so we can repent, Lord God, yes. repent and come clean with you yes. and bow in your presence, Lord, knowing we need a Savior. We ask you to do it in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're so Gotta glad you joined us. Yes, we're so Gotta glad you joined us. Gotta be born again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gotta yes, be born yes. again. There's no way around that. Gotta be born again. Gotta be. Mm -hmm. gotta, gotta repent. Gotta be born again. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, so we thank you for joining us. Yes, and we're not done with this. We're coming, mm -hmm. we coming mm -hmm. back and we're going to keep going forward with this because this is what it's going to take to save mm -hmm. all of us. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take what Peter told us on the day of Pentecost. Yes. First thing he says is repent. Yes. And if you feel like you have nothing to repent for, you, mm -hmm. you are lost. And it's time to repent now while it's a gift. Yes, we absolutely. Don't, we don't want to be like Esau to seek absolutely. repentance and not receive it. God bless you is our prayer. We thank you for joining us. You can connect with us and send in your prayer requests yes. at wtebroadcast at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to pray for you. We'd love to connect and go to the throne of grace for you and with you, touching and agreeing on earth. We just praise God for you. We'll see you next week. God bless you is our prayer. We love you. Until then. Amen. Amen. God bless you. The Axe Ministries is located at 1423 Ingram in Conway and 1224 Franklin Street in North Little Rock. Call 501-329-2055 or go to axeministriesonline.org for more information.